G'day Aquarius, welcome back to TJ Tarot and Under. I'm going to do the love energy coming towards you as that now, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius to start with please. Yes, the reading's early this week, yes, because I got mucked around again. Got changed on me again. But what can you do? Um, yeah, and still no reading next week as far as I know. Be back the week after. So, and still a bit crook as well. So, just to really top it off. <laughs> Clarify card one, please. So, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Come on. Okay, clarify card two, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Aquarius right now. It could be somebody else on the table. Okay. Clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and the lists are below in the description box in the order that I'm using them, in case you're interested in what these decks are. Okay. Three more for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. So I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good week, a good day, and a good weekend. Whatever you may be doing. And don't forget to spoil yourself with something nice too. Oh, come on. What's wrong with this energy? Why is it so slow? It's taking forever. There we go. <coughs> Sorry. Clarify card one in row two, please. So now you start spitting stuff everywhere. <laughs> Good. Keep it up. Clarify card two in row two, please. And clarify card three in row two, please. begin Aquarius. Ooh, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. With, ooh, the lovers. The eight of wands. And the ace of swords. So they're trying to capture romance here with a bit of playfulness in this connection. I'm wanting this a real connection here though. And there'll be passionate communication, but they will be speaking their truth. So listen to the words that they're saying. Hmm, so they may be acting playful with you, but their words, listen to their words. Hmm, and I don't see them playing with anybody else, I think they're just playing, being playful and having fun with you to recapture that romance. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Cups, wow. It's the second Ace. The World card. Mm -hmm. And the Queen of Cups. So, very attracted to you. Seeing this as a beginning in love here. 
The whole new world is what I'm hearing, full of the most beautiful love that there is. Queen of Cups, all queens are loving, she's the queen of love, it's the best love humanly possible. A whole new world of love in this beginning. I'm very attracted to you. Wow. Attracted to your love. Children. Your love loss being affected by children. I don't involve children in the readings. This is an aspect of their energy. Some sort of childlike energy. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so I'm getting many seasons. Like the wheel of time has turned. It's been many seasons. You were children together. Knew each other as children. But time is... Many seasons have passed. You are now older. Or is it the children have grown? If you've got, if you both got children, your children have grown up and moved on. And if you don't have children, then this is someone that you knew when you were children, and you've both a lot of seasons have passed since then. I'm seeing that bluey episode with Jean Luc at the end of the episode. <laughs> Where Bluey's grown up and so is Jean Luc. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful episode. I love that episode. What's making me teary? Alright, let's move on. <laughs> <coughs> Romance. Ooh, I haven't seen this card come out. Romance. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords. The world card, the tower, and the four of cups. <coughs> so I'm hoping this romance leads to long-term stability here. And it moves the karma waters here. The cycle closes out and everything falls apart. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm wanting this romance to become something long-term and stable here. Moving things to calmer waters, closing out an old cycle for a new one to begin with a sudden change which comes with an offer. Yeah, it's just where you accept that offer. An offer of love. It is a f cups energy. See the transformation of the butterflies in, in their hands. Things suddenly changing with this offer. Yeah, once the romance, because romance doesn't, you know, stay forever. Capturing the romance with the playfulness. But then moving forward into something that's more long-term and stable with this offer of love. Wow. Abundance. Ah, I haven't seen that card come out. Nine of Wands. And the Page of Wands.
So it looks like they've had a lot of people that have made them the wounded warrior and put their guard up. A lot of very immature people. Flirty, immature people have had them, made them, give them, given them an abundance of woundings, but also not given up. Made them very strong. And very defensive against any of that immature childishness. They've had an abundance of it. And they're just done with it. Haven't given up on the hope of finding love, but had an abundance of those immature player, flirty, you know, here for a good time, not a long time, yeah. They've had an abundance of those sort of people, and they're really done with them. So we're very attracted to you and love and a whole new world and wait. So what are we going to wait for here? The Wheel of Fortune, under the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Waiting for time. The Queen of Pentacles. That's nice. The Two of Wands. Okay. The Six of Wands. Alright. And the Star Card, which is your card, Aquarius. So they've been waiting for the right time here to come in and offer something, yeah. Well, I guess for you to be mature enough to be, or free enough to be committed to each other, have stability and commitment and love. and That's why they haven't taken any action. To wait for the right time for you to get your attention because you're their wish it's for this to be successful with you couldn't take any action before had to wait for the right time and you're both stable enough both mature enough Wow, so they've been waiting for you and a commitment with you, just waiting for the right time. Wow. Okay. Oh, we've got, could we start again, please? Hmm. I'm hearing that John Lennon song, just like starting over, starting over, oh, I'm not going to sing it, <laughs> forget singing with this throat, <laughs> um, yeah, mm, but like I said, you would have known each other before, recapturing the romance between you two, mm -mm. all right, what would this love energy like to say to Aquarius, please? It's very nice energy. I like it. Mm, that's interesting. I didn't like that, though. We've got, I'm sorry I lied to you. What? And I was raised not to show emotion. Perhaps they lied about the emotions that they felt for you in the past. They were raised not to show their emotions their childhood. But time has gone by and now they're very attracted to you. And to show that emotion. Hmm. Can tell you how they felt before because they were told not to show emotion. Hmm. I don't think they're um, going 
going to be holding back from me going to be telling you the truth here. Yeah, and I think they definitely want this to be successful with you. Something committed and loving and stable. Definitely. You've had an abundance of people who just lie and don't show emotion. They want something real with you. And I think they've finally grown up enough that they can show that now and speak their truth. I don't think they were mature enough to do that before. Uh, but I don't think you two have been together before and not feeling a past person. I think you've just known each other before. But I don't think they've ever told you. Wow. All right. Well, that's nice. Very cool. All right. That's your reading, Aquarius. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That will be awesome. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. You're all awesome. Alright, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.